it's Sunday morning. There's Fred back there. We haven't cleaned up from yesterday's party yet. Not completely. We've got a lot to do today, but we're taking a break and we're gonna go out and get breakfast first. I need some more coffee. I'll be back. Alrighty. So we're trying to change the tail light on my car. We're gonna see if I can do it by myself. Fred's right there. Hi. He's shocked I'm trying by myself. Fred's here. Yeah. Oh my god, look at all the stuff you got out here. It says you have to like give it a whack to give it off. Give it a whack? Yeah. coming. Is it just those three screws? Yeah. Well, these two and then two that hold on this this piece. Oh, okay. Which I already got off. Yeah, there's a lot of dirt in there. Okay, Fred, I might need some help with this part. I'm really dangerous with that when it comes to that. I might just, knowing me, I'll freaking hit it so hard it'll break. Let's try not to do that. Oh, got it. Hey, you got it. I got it. All right, so it's, I think it's this one. Let's hope so. Haha. -ha. Does it look burnt? It does look kind of black at the end. Oh, for the Okay. Um, I think it's the bottom one. No, that's not it. It's gotta be this one. I was pretty sure it was that one. Yeah. Let's try it. I don't see a busted filament. Let's try it. Okay, put the new one in. This one looks whiter than that one I just pulled out. Whiter? Like clear. The oh, glass there. looks clear. That one looks a little bit gray. Maybe when we can just hit the side of it, you can see the the filament. filament just kind of do this type okay. thing. Why don't I start it up and before you put everything back? Okay. Well, let me, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Start it up and, and hit the brakes. Oh, I'm going to hit the gas on the wire. No, please don't. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Now let's see if I can get it back together. Awesome, dear. Yeah, see? YouTube videos, they work. Yep. Before you get a fix it ticket. Yay, we don't want any tickets. We don't want any tickets. I'll throw this one away. Yep, yep. Put that one like in the glove box or something, maybe. Okay. Monday morning everybody it is Monday morning July 9th don't get excited I only know that because I looked at the calendar <laughs> um, I am um, sure you all know by now if you don't I'll tell you <clears throat> we're undergoing some more home renovations and so I'm in actually in my master bedroom at the moment uh, workmen are coming over this morning 
<sighs> anyway, I got an envelope in the mail not long ago, and I haven't had a chance to put it on camera until now, but a really wonderful em uh, envelope from my friend Heidi Richard. She was so sweet. I was saying not long ago I was looking for some feather stickers um, from the Dollar Tree, and my Dollar Trees just seem to be out. I guess they're, I don't know if they're not getting them again or not, but she sent me a whole envelope of them. Look at these. Just look at these. So she sent me a whole envelope of them. So many. Thank you so much, Heidi. I can't wait to use these. I did keep some art stuff out um, that didn't get packed away so that I could continue to work on some stuff in between when workmen are here. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you all the state of my office at the moment before the workmen get here. Um, and where my, um, and where, sorry, I'm getting a text from my sister. Um, and where my current computer station is, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll be right this back. This is the current state of my office. It's a little bit echoey because there's like nothing in here. It's completely empty. So they're going to be repairing all the holes in the drywall. You know, all the million holes I've made in the drywall over the years. And they're going to be repainting and everything in here. So I'm going to be working on my husband's office <laughs> where we took the paneling down. I think I showed this last week. It's really bad. And they're going to be doing a couple of other odd drywall type repairs this morning or today. This is my temporary office for a week or so, which is extra messy because, uh, and my husband's office, we're sharing, which we don't do often. Uh, with office equipment um, uh, but they're going to it's extra messy today because they're also going to repair be repairing some settlement cracks um, that you get sometimes in older houses can you guys see that we have a couple in the ceiling they've been here for 26 years <laughs> so we're, you know we're finally getting them fixed <laughs> they've been here a long time anyway so that's what's going on with me today so oh joy it's going to be fun I think I need more coffee with this and maybe some incense. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I believe that there are red telephone booths because the Hello Kitty. <clears throat> All right, guys. So the workman is at my house and they're going to do their thing. I'm going to leave and run my errands. Gave away some more alcohol from the party, yay. I'm gonna put gas in the car first because I'm on empty. And take some stuff to Goodwill. And then we're gonna do what we can to stay out of the house as long as possible, but I don't think it's gonna be very long because I don't got a lot to do. We'll see, I'll be back. We got our living room and temporary office back from the drywall, guys. Are you like taping me? I am. <laughs> Husband's home early because he went to physical therapy. Say hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. Fred says hi. He's tired. He's annoyed I'm taping him when he's tired. Happy Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> I would say morning, but it's not morning anymore. It's afternoon. So I, um, <laughs> you know, I haven't done much. <laughs> I really haven't. I spent most of the afternoon waiting for workmen to show up who'd never showed up. Uh, cause I found out later one of their guys was sick that the one that was supposed to evidently come here or they pulled the guy that was supposed to come here to go somewhere else. Cause the other guy was sick. I don't know. Anyway, evidently they're not coming back until Thursday, but nobody bothered to tell me until I called. That's not really great customer service, just FYI. <laughs> that being said, when you do get them here, they do a great job. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, I did also have the gardeners here this morning and a bunch of business phone calls and it's just one thing after the other. And I also got sucked into watching Bad Tenants, Rogue Landlords on YouTube. It's a BBC TV series. I know, I don't know. I'm halfway through season one. I don't know what to say. I do have uh, last week's vlog to edit. I'm sitting out here in our front room. See, there you go. Because my office is being worked on. I said that already. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to see what I can do working on my computer out here to get the vlog edited. I am connected to the internet via Wi-Fi, thankfully. So I'll be able to upload it to YouTube and schedule it to air tomorrow. And um, then I think I might actually try to use this little teeny table I have, there we go, to work on some journal pages, maybe. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how far I get. I don't have much room, so I don't know. All right, that's it for right now. I'll okay, video vlog for last week is edited and saving. It is blasting hot in my car again. Aye, aye, aye. It's 99 degrees on the windshield. It's really hot out again today in California. Um, I didn't really notice exactly how hot because I've been inside in the air conditioning all morning or most of the morning. Um, it means I'm probably going to need to bring Mr. Bandit in um, when I get back because he is an old dog and it is really hot outside. All right, well, let's go get the mail first and then we can deal with Mr. Bandit. Ouch, the wind, the wind chill. The steering wheel is really hot. Those of you who live in California know this to be true. We have issues with fire every summer. Every, I don't know, 10 years or so, the county park behind my house, which you're looking at now, literally goes up in flames. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry if I sound funny, the smoke is not good for my house, but, but anyway, it's burning right now. I think they have it under control, but we're still hearing and seeing a lot of helicopters fly overhead with water. They're not only trying to protect the homes, but of course keep it from spreading. Uh, they've been dumping water behind the hill. At the same time, a few miles away, like I mean less than five miles away south of me, there is a large open farm space near Morgan Hill that evidently is also currently on fire. So. Fun times in California, right? I would say good morning, but it's afternoon again. <laughs> hey everybody, we are obviously out here in my temporary office again. I was working on a another art journal page for the Stencilified Journal. You can kind of peek at it over my shoulder, but that's the most I'm going to get you to look at it because it's like week 13. Um, and we're only up to week, by the time you see this, I think five. Um, so anyway, I um, have just spent the morning working on that and getting some Etsy orders ready to ship and um, answering questions and emails and stuff like that. So I am finally actually ready for lunch, but I'm going to go to the bank first. I have to deposit a money order somebody sent me and I've got to mail these and I'm going to take care of that first and then come home and have lunch. I think that's a plan. So. Let's get started, shall we? So it's customer appreciation day at my postal annex, the one in San Jose, California on um, Bernal Road. So if you um, need PO Box services or copy and fax, notary, mailbox rental, key making, they do a bunch of stuff anyway. I'll put their website in the description below. Anyway, it was Customer Appreciation Day, so I got a baby bun cake. Isn't that nice? Chocolate. I got to pick from red velvet chocolate or vanilla chocolate. Hello. So anyway, I'm going to go home, and I'm going to try to get this home without smashing it. Because I want to kind of put it in the fridge and chill it, and then have my regular lunch, and then this will be my bonus cold chocolate dessert. Alright, so we're going to go try to do that. Maybe. Good morning, but it's not morning. It's afternoon again. It's actually 2.44 p.m. I, it is, what day is it? Thursday, July something, I don't even know. Um, 
12th? Yeah, I think it's the 12th because tomorrow's Friday the 13th. Um, I've spent the day with workmen in my house. So, <sighs> drywall repairs, retexturing, consulting with the guy who's going to do the painting and some other small things around the house, just talking to different people. The house is in chaos. Yeah. To the point where, honestly, for like the last hour, I've been on the sofa with no music on, no nothing, reading a book. I know, right? Just doing, yeah. I just needed, I needed time. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. I finally decided that I should go get the mail because it's almost three o'clock and I have somebody coming over to look at some stuff we're selling at four and then I have somebody else coming for a meeting at the house at 6 30. In between I gotta figure out what to cook for dinner. You know exciting stuff. I need to do some laundry now that there's no people in my house. <laughs> um, we're having some more work done starting on Monday so I have a few days break um, but that being said, I've got a dental appointment on Saturday. We're going to go out to dinner with the kids to a new place that we heard about in San Mateo. We have a day, day trip um, for business up to Portland that we're doing on Sunday. You know, by Monday when the workmen are back doing their thing, I can't really do anything in the house while they're working on the back of the house. They're working on all the bedrooms. That might be a good thing because I'll have I can't go back there. I can't do anything. I'll just sit on the couch and do some more reading. I have a feeling I might need it by then. So anyway, we're gonna try to get past the DMV people safely. Um, if people decide that they're going to actually wait for oncoming traffic and use signals, hello. Um <clears throat> and go get the mail. We'll see what's there. I need an envelope to do uh, a prompt with for an art journal page, so let's hope there's a good one in the mail, because all my other ones are packed. Only one thing in the mail, and I know what it is. It is some sun print paper. I can't get it open right now, but anyway, some paper that you put, you know, flowers and things on and lay it out in the sun and the part where the items are turn white or stay blue or I think they, I think they stay white and the rest of the paper turns blue. Anyway, sun print paper. Because, you know, I can't get to the rest of my art stuff right now, so... Good morning everybody. It is 8.43 a.m. We are out in the backyard because I'm playing with sun prints. Can y'all see that? I can't even tell. It's so bright out here. So I'll put some pictures here of what the finished pieces look like. I got a small sun print kit from Amazon and I'll link it below to just try and experiment. I haven't done sun prints like since I was a kid so I thought that would be fun to play with. Uh, easy art project that didn't need any supplies because all everything I have is packed. Well, almost everything. So anyway, I'm gonna play with my sun prints. I'll be back. Here's the sun print kit I got at Amazon. It was, I believe like $5.99. It was uh, less than $6, I believe. I'll put a link in the description below. Here's, it comes with 12 pieces of paper and um, as they dry, you once you do your sun print, you have to rinse it off uh, for a minute in water, and it looks like this. As they dry, the background gets darker, and the place where you put the thing you were printing, in this case, things from nature, gets whiter. So as they dry, they do this. So, I'm not so sure about that one, but anyway, we're going to see what happens as they dry, and I will be back. Good 
morning everybody it's Saturday morning July 14th I only know that because I'm looking at the computer <laughs> um, it's 10 44 a.m. again I only know that because the computers right there we've been up for a while um, getting some chores done and I cut my husband's hair and um, we have to go pick his car up it was having its smog check done um, which you have to do here in California I don't know about other states actually but in California your car has to meet um, smog standards so anyway it was time for his car to get done um, we're taking another day trip up to Portland tomorrow so we're getting ready for that and I've been getting the boarding passes I had to set the alarm for this evening for the coming home one because I almost forgot to do the one this morning oops and um, yeah we have a dentist appointment oh joy uh, and we're gonna go out to dinner with the kids so yeah that's our Saturday I'll bring it with me if I can I'll be back. Oops. Okay, so we are at the auto shop where my husband's car is ready. So he asked me not to leave right away. I don't know what that means. So we're going to sit in the car and wait, I guess. Because, you know, <laughs> I do patience and waiting so well. Those of you who know me in real life know that's not true, which is FYI. <sighs> anyway. All right, I'll be back. Hey, everybody. There's so much going on this week, I'm constantly forgetting to film the vlog exit um, clips, and I'm sorry, I apologize. I hope to do better this coming week. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed the vlog this week and that you've all personally had a great week. Um, be free to be yourselves, be creative, be kind to each other, or at least try. Um, <laughs> and go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Hit the little bell icon if you want notifications when new videos come out. There is a lot going on for me right now and we are working on a bunch of different things. As soon as I can clue you all in, I will, I promise. Alright, that's it for now. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.